Bernard Pierce at the tail. And this is Pierce trying to get to the edge. Bernard Pierce outside the numbers and lowers the bull back bowl before taking the temple job. Now Girardi off play action, and he has got his big tight end, Evan Rodriguez, on that pitch and catch. On that first down call, Bernard Pierce has got the edge. Bernard Pierce in open space following the blocks of Jake Ann. On second and 10, go right back to the run game. Bernard Pierce. Look at Pierce explode to the edge again and get run out of bounds. At the it was a long one. You see Pierce here, steps it in, then he bounces out, beats Wagner, a short tackler, then takes it to the outside, gives a straight arm, and picks up positive yards. And like Wallace, the right tackle. Girardi to put it up. Then a fire end zone. Joe Jones got it. Touchdown, Temple's out. Delay and Girardi is on fire. Yes, and Girardi comes across the field and spots Matt Jones in the back of the end zone all by himself, all by the lonesome. A nice ball right there. Tight spiral, finds Jones. Dylan Potts in one of the deep spots. And on the return from the goal line, oh, did you hear the pads popping at third and four? More off play action. Presser coming from the backside, and he is drilled by Adrian Robinson. The touchdown maker from a moment ago. This is Joe Jones for the four, and look out. Joe Jones in open space to the midfield stripe. And, and that is encouraging to consider what took place last week. Moore wants to put it up. Look out, he got drilled from the backside by Tawir Whitehead. That football is down and did act last week and he just drilled Clayton Moore. And Clayton Moore, you like his effort and willingness to go downfield, but you have to have a sense of timing in the back of your head to know that those defenders are coming to pressure. And Whitehead does a phenomenal the job of stripping the, the ball and, and the getting fumble. the fumble. Second down, a goal for the three. Bernard Pierce will slash his way to the goal line in the end zone. Touchdown number four on the Temple out. And they have used that to forge this 11-point lead. Game of field position. Bernard Pierce looking to get to the edge. Pierce outside the numbers with speed and bounced out of bounds. Hard runner, and you see right here, comes inside, and he bounces it outside, shrugs off one would-be tackler, and has the speed to turn the corner to pick up positive yards. Definitely awakened. Pierce again on second and three. Huge more chunks of real estate. Positive yards. A second to goal for the two. Bernard Pierce will slash his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Temple's Owls. Their has been Bernard Pierce tonight, and this is Matt Brown. Matt Brown will explode through another big hole. First down and more in Akron territory. On three inside Temple territory. That doesn't bode well for victory here at Now run that misdirection and look at Bernard Pierce, and he is busted free at the backside. See you later. Touchdown, Bernard Pierce. Temple's Owls, his third touchdown jaunt of the night. Still has the ability to run down the field. Watch this you see it right back. here. Right cut back there. right there. Bam. Now going to get outside the, to, the, to down the sideline and have enough speed to outrun safeties and corners. Very impressed with. Bernard Pierce and his ability to run. You see it again right there. Look kind of like Gail Sayers right there. <laughs> well, this is uh, the deity of running backs we're talking about. Barry Sanders, Gail Sayers, 20-yard strike to Sconyers. First down, Akron. And Moore back at it. Look out, he's going to step up. But, again, you for the first half. Very impressed with how the Akron linebackers are very comfortable operating in space. Look out, that backside hit came from guess who adrian robinson sack time temple as what well, this temple defense and you're going to see wow i mean they have been wild but uh, to start things out bernard pierce established things early on yes he did as you see right here he can carry the tote inside outside girardi got on the act with jones wide open and then Akron said you know what we can compete as well with the big pass but nothing didn't lead to a score but yet you like the fact that they're competing yeah, they put three on the board, uh, J.P. Marques with that 48-yard field goal. But look at the defense. Tahir Whitehead started it. 
and Adrian Robinson Whitehead led to Bernard Pierce finding the end zone his first TD of the half. And you like how Bernard Pierce runs with power and conviction. And you see again right here, one tackle is not going to bring that man down. Now Bernard Pierce again, and uh, here to the outside with that fabulous move outside the numbers, Gerard, and, and then at 218 pounds, showing you the speed on the edge. Breakaway speed, combination of speed, strength, and power. Very impressed with Bernard. A and defensive right temple, yeah. Just could run sideline to sideline on search and destroy missions. Yeah, and then, it's, and then the defense for the Owls not to be outdone by Pierce. They kicked it in as well. Did that opening half. Joe Jones in open space. Joe Jones to the midfield stripe. And in the... He and his mates have thwarted Akron's Clayton Moore and the zips off. And it's as Moore goes back to work. His throw will come underneath. And oh, look at that shot. That was delivered on Nick Rossi as step. This is how you force. Bam! Anthony Roby brings the pain. I mean, he moved the chains. That first down, Akron. Moore. Oh, he got drilled as he delivered once again. And that's picked off. It is intercepted by Temple. Is coming up with a pick. Is outside linebacker Akeem Smith. And Why he threw the interception. You see it right here. To where Whitehead or Keith hits him as well. Converted tight end laying a boom like that. And through the defender. <laughs> yes, he did. Inside the nine minute mark now. Back to the run game with Matt Brown through a big hole. Look at the move by Matt Brown as he explodes. And they're taking it on the rest on their laurels that they're up 28 to 3. Scoreboard watching. McManus on the fake punt. And he's got a convoy with all kinds of green in front of him. Oh, they caught Akron asleep. They're up by 25, and then they're going to try something tricky. They put it off very well. This is Matt Brown on the carry through a crease. Matt Brown inside the 10. And let's call it third and 12 now. Girardi out of the gun. They got a middle screen set up. Evan Rodriguez. First down, Temple. 68 yards in the win last week over Villanova. Back to the ground game, and this is Matt Brown. Look at Brown just scoot through that hole, get to the second level. Only experience can teach this, teach this type of chemistry that they have, because you see very tricky and complicated running blocking schemes. Blitz coming, Moore got rocked. He absolutely got rocked by knee at a wall. <laughs> well, he earned that and right. Given away to uh, Matt Brown, and uh, now even Matt, Matt Brown, Brown is uh, getting the rest of the night off as uh, Temple is going to explode their third tailback out of the pack as carrying the football is Kenneth Harper, the 215-pound freshman they've used tonight. Third and 10 from the 30-yard line. Stewart gunning in the seam, and that is a beautiful throw and the sliding catch made uh, by Temple's uh, wide receiver, C.J. Hammond. Back. Kenneth Harper with six carries. Second to go for the two. Seventh carry, Kenneth Harper. He walks in to the end zone. Easily done. Easy. Touchdown, Temple, the block. Kenneth Harper on a quick trip to the end zone.